Let's take a look in this behavior. We have two components. The login form component generated with the ionic generate command and the register form component. In this video, we are going to see how to move to one component to another to have this effect. We have this component, the authentication form, where a user can input his login and password. And in case it has no account yet, it can ask to create a new account. And then click here, it changed to another component and it can create then a new account. If the user wants to go back to the previous components to return to the login screen, it can cancel and return to the original component. For having this result, we have to work with the halters from the Ionic technology, technology, and then we can move through one component to another. So how to do that? So basically, we have here the two components, and there is um, a file, a TypeScript file that's created together with the project when we have utilized the Ionic start command that has created all the project structure. This file here, the app routing model.ts, was created. So, how we have to start to create a way to go to one model to another. In this file, it already comes with all this code predefined. We don't have to write nothing from this, but we have to import here the components we want to make links to that. We want to move through that. So basically, we have created here two components, the register form component. Here is a TypeScript file for that, where we have the class name that represents the, the component. And here we have the login component TypeScript file that do the same for that. So what we have to do in this app routing model TS is just import both components. And then inside this array, the routes array that already was predefined, we can then inform the path, the URL. So basically my project is here. I'm saying if I enter the path dot slash register we are going to, to register form. If there is no path informant, the root it goes to the login component. Do you see two different different URLs, each of them moving to a different component. For having this behavior we had then to, in this routes array, configure this, this information. What identifier, URI identifier, will correspond to exactly which component. Okay, so we already have seen that empty means root, and then it moves to the login component. Okay, and if we access the register, we go to the another component. Okay, but now how inside our page, how inside our component can we make one move from one to another? For this purpose, we can use inside the um, button tag, we can take a look here in the login form component HTML file, we have the ion button, and then the attribute, how to link. We have then just to inform for which halt we are going to move when this button is pressed. So here we are saying that the create an account button will go to the register um, halter. Then when it is try to find one, one path that corresponds to that, once it's, it's found, it's going to move exactly to this component. So that's why when we click here in the in this button, create an account, what's going to happen? We move to 
another component using then the router link HBoot that is like that's here login component okay that is here and the the way for the user in the register form come back to this uh, initial component is because then we have a route of router link saying I, I want to return to the root um, component of this app so it goes to the router router chess and it find it has to return to the login component so that's why when users are in this register form screen it can then create quick clicks in cancel and return to the original component so here it is one overview about how the um, we can program router for our components and how we can move from one component to another. Thank you for watching.